Hello and welcome to the channel. In a previous video we saw how to create a maze in Excel using the randomized depth first search algorithm and that looked like this what I'm showing you on the screen now. So that's probably the most popular algorithm used to create a maze with a computer. But on the other hand it has some limitations. So it's quite slow as you can see. Uh, although you can make this faster, setting up some, some functions in VVA, but still um, there is also a limitation with the size of the, of the maze that you can create. If you haven't seen this video, I'm going to leave the link up here. Um, but in this video, we're going to learn how to use another algorithm, and that's the randomized Kruskal's algorithm. It's another algorithm used to create a maze, and it has certain advantages. It's, for example, much faster and it allows creating much larger maze structures. As you can see, that's how it looks like. And it's faster than the previous one and the size of the maze is, is larger. However, it tends to produce regular patterns that are fairly easy to solve. And therefore, it probably makes sense just for larger maze structures. While the randomized depth first search, the, the previous one I show you, it works better for, for a smaller maze, for example. The process to implement the randomized Kruskal's algorithm to create a maze in Excel is the following. So we have to start from a grid of cells with all the walls around each cell and each identify with a unique set or a unique number. Then the algorithm randomly removes walls when they separate two cells from different sets. When the border is removed, the two cells are regrouped and assigned to the same set. The process repeats and continues until eventually all the cells in the grid belong to the same set. So let's see how to do that. So let's use the range from B2 to, for example, M12. And I'm going to make that something like this. And then let's go to the Visual Basic Editor. Insert a module, the first macro will be a start uh, maze, for example. And with that range, so let's let's set the maze range as range from V2 to M12, we set, right? And with maze range, we're gonna so we're gonna add walls around each cell. So with dot borders line style equals XL continuous then we're gonna have uh, a thicker border and the color uh, we can make it black we could change the background color or any other properties but I'm gonna leave it like this for now so that we can visualize what happens in the process. Now the second thing we want to do, and let me maybe comment that, this is um, format the maze and you can also actually format the dimensions here or whatever you, you want. And now we're gonna, we're gonna assign a set to each cell in the maze. And to do that we will use a for each loop for each cell in maze RNG. We're gonna have here a variable n uh, incrementing by 1 and the value of the cell is going to equal n so we go to the next cell so let's play that and see how it works as you see we've got um, a grid or a range with borders around each cell and then we have the numbers let me make the numbers smaller we can have these numbers, I'm going to leave the numbers here just to follow the process, but we could have these numbers in a separate sheet. We could hide them. We could, you know, we could change the font color as well. We could, um, we could put them in an, ar in an array as well, but I'm going to leave them here so you see what's happening, how, how the process works. And now we can call, let's say, cave maze. And I'm going to put cave maze um, in another module. So so here, cave maze, and this is actually the macro with the implementation of the algorithm 
So remember, we're going to use the randomized cruise calls algorithm to create a maze. And here's how we are going to implement it. So first, we need to get a random cell, right? To get a random cell, we use randomize, and then we get a random row. It's going to be the integer of R&D times. In this case, it's going to be 11 rows starting in row two. But if you change the the dimensions, if you change the size of the maze, you, you got to change that. And the same for C. And in the case of C, we, we have one through 12 um, columns. So it's going to be 12 starting in column 2. And then we need to get the wall. Um, so there are four walls around the cell. So this is going to be an integer of R&D times 4 plus 1. Right, so it, it's going to give a number between 1 and 4. And let me add here, 1 is going to be x, l, h, left, the left border. 2 is going to be x, l, h, right. 3, top. And 4 is x, l, h, bottom. Now, the first thing we want to check is if there's a wall between the two cells. So if cells are comma C dot borders wall line style is different than Excel line style none. So if there's a wall there, then we need to check What's the set of the cells separated by that wall? So, and we need to do that for each um, each possibility. So, for if the wall is one, so that's the left border, and C is greater than two because we don't want to remove the left border of column B. And cells are comma C dot value, so the value in the selected cell this is this is the randomly selected cell r comma c is different than the set in r comma c minus one the cell to the left then we're gonna do two things we will remove the wall or remove the border to do that we do cells r comma c dot borders and here we need to target the excel edge left border and set the line style to Excel line style none. So that's going to remove the border. And now we're going to regroup all cells with that set, with that number. So for that, we're going to use the maze range. But as we do not have it here, I'm going to actually copy paste and define that here for now and we're going to use the replace method of the range cells r comma c minus 1 value it's going to be replaced with cells r comma c dot value the whole number and that's going to regroup the cells after removing the wall so so that all the cells connected will have the same set Else, if the wall is 2, and now C is less than 12 plus 1, 13. And again, that's only for this size. If you change the size, you're going to change, you, you will need to change those values. You have to, so we should rather put that in a variable, in a variable that gets the number of columns in the maze. And cells r comma c dot value is different than cells r comma c plus one now dot value then again we're gonna remove that wall so let me copy paste this here and we're gonna just target now xlh right 
and here it's going to be C plus 1. So again, this is going to replace all the cells with that set with the new set. And we have to do the same for the other two walls, so I'm just going to copy paste that. And here, and that's going to be wall 3. In this case, R must be greater greater than 2 for this maze here again yeah if you change the position you have to change those uh, the number here and now it's gonna be r minus 1 we're gonna target the top border or the top edge of the border and we're gonna replace whatever value we have there that set with the new one now the same for for wall now here r needs to be below 12 which is the is 12 is the last uh, row in this in this maze and again you need to change that if you uh, change the size and here we're gonna have r plus one so the the cell below and we're gonna target the bottom edge and replace the value there to have the same set so that's um, we end the if statement here and we end the other if statement here and let me save that and we're gonna add a button to see to run and see how that works so it's we're gonna run only cave maze now so let's say cave maze here and if we click it we see, let me make this bigger so that you see what, what's going on here. We see this wall has been removed. So initially, the cell I4 was selected with the set 32. And the, and the top um, edge of the border or the top wall was randomly selected. It was removed because they had a different set and now they both have the same uh, set. They share they belong to the same set. No. So if we keep clicking, you see um, we keep removing walls. Now this wall has been removed and both cells belong to the same set. And this will continue. Uh, this has to continue uh, until all the cells belong to the same set. So that's the basis of the implementation of the algorithm. So to do that, we're going to add all of this into uh, into a loop, but I'm gonna add do events here and then do and loop. But this loop we need to exit the loop when um, when all the cells have the same set. And to know that we can get a reference value from any cell. But I'm gonna take cell B2 for example dot value and using the worksheet. Um, using the worksheet function object, so if worksheet function and the count if function for our maze range comma the reference number equals the maze range cells count, which is the total number of cells in the maze, then we can exit the do loop. Okay, so now let's save it and, and run it and see how it works you see it's removing the walls is regrouping the cells and finally it finished because all the cells belong to the same set and now if we remove the numbers and uh, the grid lines we can see the maze is here it's a is a rather simple maze but as I explained earlier, this algorithm is used to make larger maze structures. If you want to make uh, such a small maze as the one here, you would rather use the other algorithm, the randomized depth first search, the one we saw in the previous video. So, but that's how we implement the randomized Kruskal's algorithm to create a maze in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.